Remember the last time I talked about expect more videos about the PC because my Z80 project is stuck? So unfortunately, expect more of these videos about old PCs to come out before the next big update. Well, that statement does not hold true because right after uploading that video, I found the culprit that's causing my motherboard to malfunction. So this is the big Z80 update that you've been hoping for. Hi, I'm Andy and welcome to my retro mess. Okay, let's skip that part. Now, I know the first thing that you want to ask is, what is the problem? Well, the problem is here. This is the address decoder chip for the ROM and all the RAMs. There are two kinds of RAM here. These four are 32K, these three are 108K. They combined to make 512K of physical address space. Of course, the Z80 cannot access 512K of RAM. So, I added these two chips to act as a, these are SRAM chips, to act as a mapper or pager if you, or MMU if you want to call it that. But the problem is when this board is booted up, these two SRAM contains garbage data. There's no guarantee that any pattern will appear in the SRAM. So the Z80, when it jumps to the reset vector, which is at address 0000, it will get some random data from any of these chips. And it might probably get garbage too because these are all RAM banks. Only this one is an EEPROM or EEPROM. Yeah. So I added a switch, a, so a software switch to disable paging at boot up. And that caused a problem because when you disable paging, the upper address bits needs to be something, but without paging, you cannot provide those address bits. So I added this, I don't know if it's possible to see it. See like the light between that line of light between these chips? That is actually a resistor pack, which pulls those address bits down. However, because my address decoder is a TDL chip, it outputs some current to its input pings, and in this case, the address pings. And because my resistor pack have like a 10K resistance, that current actually pulls the bus high enough so that the address decoder thing that it is accessing the top of the RAM instead of the bottom, which is my ROM. The reason why it takes so long for me to find out is that because this resistor pack is just enough to pull down the bus to that threshold level, some interference in the circuit will actually cause it to break the threshold and select the ROM. So when you run some very, very simple code, for example, just a jump to 0000, 000 at address 0000, 000, which will throw the Z80 into an infinite loop as soon as it boots up, that code will actually run fine. And also because of the interference, you can actually see 
select poses on the chip enable line of the ROM. This is just <laughs> unfortunate coincidence. I mean, I don't know how to describe that. It's it is just that coincidence. I actually want to measure the current output from the address decoder chip and make a video about that because it's not linear, which is interesting. But I found that it's very temperature sensitive and I cannot get a consistent result across different measures. So I kind of dropped it and went on with just a brief explanation of this. Okay, if I think if I chose a different chip, there may not be any chip enable poses and that would help me zero in the problem pretty fast. But it's just that chip in just that condition. I mean, I may sound quote Nick Robinson sound like a certain G man, right? The the right chip in the right place. I mean, but it stored the whole project. And that's it for the problem part.